Alright, welcome back everybody, it's your boy EzzyLB, just uh, coming at you with the part 2 for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Mode walkthrough. Um, sorry about the last video, um, my dog started barking and I don't really know how to do video editing yet so I'm just going to be a little honest about that one. But um, yeah, pretty much we're just going to jump right back into it, this is exactly where we left off in the last video. Uh, we're in the middle of the bomb trial shrine, I guess you could say. Um, pretty simple, first couple shrines, not too hard, uh, let's just get right back into it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, destroy these with this spherical bomb. Come on. And then we'll bring over that little, uh... We'll go ahead and bring over that little orange ball. Push it on through. There we go. Yeah, we'll pretty much just uh, get that spirit orb pretty easy. These first couple of shrines, they're just, they're really easy. They're mostly just tutorials, things like that. Something I really like about this game is they actually show you, like, where the button is. Like, A to pick up is the right button. Like, I think that's pretty cool. Just those little details, it makes it a lot more uh, user-friendly, beginner-friendly. They definitely wanted to bring in some new players with this one. Oh. I guess not. So yeah, I don't really know if I want to spend our first uh, upgrade on the hearts or the stamina. I think I'm probably going to go with the hearts. Um, do we even need this, actually? Did I just do all that work for nothing? Yeah, it's been a while. I think I just did all that work for nothing. I don't really know what this ball is for. That's pretty crazy. No, there's no way. What is the purpose of that ball? Here, I swore you had to take this over there. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, man. I could easily be tripping. I'm about to see what's going on. Nah, there's nothing back there. I don't know, maybe it's just showing you can shoot stuff, I guess. So, like demonstrating that you can shoot the bombs over there. I guess that's probably. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Wouldn't be the first time I left behind some sort of chest or something in these shrines. I think uh, I even rewatched the the first video. I watched myself walk right past the chest, and I was just like, "Come on, man!" Just yelling at my previous self. So, yeah, this is gonna be our second spirit orb. We need four to get the upgrade. I think after we get the four is when we get the paraglider to. Or, uh, yeah, when we get the paraglider. So. and just skip these for now just try to keep these videos as short as we can last one was a little bit lengthy but it's all good it's gonna be a pretty lengthy game so it wouldn't surprise me if we had videos that length maybe even longer in the future maybe shorter it just all depends i'm gonna try to have it a lot more organic than the last ending though that was a little bit abrupt I'm not sure which divine beast we're gonna hit first either. I don't know if we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, I forget their names, but I know that, uh, it's like, uh, Va Ruta and Va, I think, Madonia? I don't know, it's kind of hard to remember the names. Uh, I wanna do the elephant first, whatever their, whatever her name is. I know Mifa is the hero of that one, though. Alright, nice. So we got a shield now. Probably will help. The combat is... I remember the last video we were having some issues. I don't think that these guys are ever going to be difficult on any... 
difficulty though. I'm pretty sure they're intended to be like a one hit kill. Well, two hit if you count like the dismemberment and then the, the blow to the head, the skull. So yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and try to get this, uh, there's a DLC shirt over here. I'm fairly certain, yeah, there it is right there, so actually, so we're just gonna pick that up. I think that's the Nintendo Switch t-shirt. We'll go ahead and check it out, see what's going on. If this wasn't such a low level item, I wouldn't have picked it up. I kind of want to have like a an honest playthrough for this master mode since it since it is kind of like the hardest difficulty of the uh, of the game here. I'm not gonna pick up like the uh, what's it called like the Phantom Ganon armor or anything like that. I think the Majora's Mask. Uh, is a really low level item. We might do that. Uh, just have a cool little uh, item to wear, I guess, in the game. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not even gonna fight those guys. Can't these be used as boomerangs? I think these can be. Oh, well, it's broken anyway. save my weapons. I don't really want to... There is a Lionel on the Great Plateau. That is crazy. I bet if we try to fight him, we just get completely shrecked, just one one hit, just tossed. I don't remember, like, the dodges and the parries or anything for, uh, for those guys, either. Oh, I'm gonna try to stealth it out. They're, they're already searching for me. Please don't find me. I am right under their noses. Oh, wow. All right, that's cool. Let's uh, see if we can. I don't have a bow. I was going to shoot that hornet's nest at them. I want to get some more weapons, see if we can defeat these guys. Damn. All right, so that's half my health. He's regening, too, so let's see if we can... We don't have anything. A baked apple. Might have to be like close to perfect. Let's see if we can get a, like a flurry rush on them. Nah, I don't have time for all that. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, let's get him uh, And we got him on fire, so. Damn, alright. First, I think, no, nah, second game over. It's gonna be expected in this uh, playthrough. I can't really believe how difficult it is. These enemies. If we get good items, I don't see these enemies being a problem. It's just the plateau is just gonna be very difficult to kind of get through this with these low level items. It's all good though. It's really no big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, probably avoid these guys if we can. I didn't really see them at first. I'm not even gonna lie. I know that the old man's hut should be around here somewhere. Like, I thought it was like right here. Oh no, I think I see it up there actually. Yeah, so we'll just go to the old man's hut. We'll get another axe, I think in there. Maybe a pot lid or an extra shield. I think this one's three. Yeah, the pot lid is really trash. I think it's like one, one, uh, whatever rating the shields use. I actually go up there. There we go. And we got a tree branch out of it, so I guess that works. It's helpful. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, get some wood. We can. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can actually use bombs to obtain wood without damaging uh, your weapons in this game. It's a pretty helpful tip. Uh, I was struggling so hard in the the Master Sword trials, like to uh, get the sixty damage or 60 rating master sword that lights up just all the time uh i was i resulted to actually blowing up 
wood and then cooking it for like little quarter heart quarter heart HP refills like I would cook like 30 of them at a time just on these over and over playthroughs I didn't really realize the meta like the strat you just pretty much uh, use those ancient arrows on like the lionels and stuff like that it makes it a lot easier for you for those of you that don't know that is actually uh, that game mode is just when you die you have to restart it's kind of like a gauntlet mode type of thing we got our first torch. I know if you cook something, he'll give you the warm doublet. I forget what it was. I think it's like an apple, meat, and uh, a mushroom. I'm not too sure on that. Use these spicy peppers. We'll probably use these instead of the warm doublet to uh, get to that snow mountain. Uh... Oh, he's sleeping right there. That's crazy. Just stealing all his stuff. Let's go ahead and read it, see if he tells us, like, in detail what we're supposed to cook to get it because if we do I'm just gonna spicy meat and seafood fry so maybe this is like a spicy pepper some meat and some sort of seafood item not too sure spicy meat and seafood fry yeah so we'll just we'll try that Those will come in handy until we get the warm doublet for sure because it is a pretty big struggle. Like when, you, like first playthrough, first playthrough, it's pretty difficult to figure out like what you're supposed to do when it comes to the uh, the temperature and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just kind of taking my time looking through everything. I wish we had a bow. We don't have a bow at all. So we don't even have a bow. I'm going to go ahead and use this to try to get these apples. We're going to do this classic uh, tree chop down over here. And there's enemies over there too. Okay, so this is a real. This is actually really fun. And I, I'm talking about how challenging it is. I'm enjoying this. I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this master mode. You don't really think about these things once you're at the, the end game and... Link is all kind of OP, you have all the armor leveled all the way up, and you got your sword, the master sword anyway, so. We're gonna do good, so there's a lot of apples on that tree here. Maybe we can sneak up on these guys and blow them off the cliff. I'm gonna try to use this one too, so it'll keep rolling. We got that guy, not this guy. Maybe we can still get him here. Let's try to lure him. Lure him over here. Come on, man. Let's go get him. There he goes. So I think that's pretty much the purpose of the master mode as well, is to kind of... The point of this game is that you can just do every single action a thousand different ways, and I think that's kind of what the point of the master mode is too. It makes you rethink it. Have to do everything a different way. You can't really just fight people head on. Or at least not at the moment anyway. So I think this part is where you climb up and you have to like conserve your stamina and get on each and every ledge. There are some rush rooms. I think the rush rooms are really cool. It's like a triple entendre item. It's like a rush room. It's a mushroom that when you cook it, it makes you go fast. So that's where the rush comes from. But it's also a mushroom growing on the side of a mountain. And like here in the States, there's a, a monument to presidents called Mount Rushmore. And I don't know. I don't know if that was their intention, but it grows on the side of mountains like Mount Rushmore and they're called rush rooms. I think that's kind of cool. If they intended it, that's that's pretty dope in my opinion. So yeah, we'll just recharge our stamina. We could probably use a couple of these like jumps. Make it a bit quicker. 
Yeah, I'm just really happy to play this, uh, play this a second time. Uh, I spent like 180 hours on my first uh, playthrough, so it would not surprise me if we sunk in that much time to the second playthrough. Once the channel grows a little bit more, we can kind of get some more feedback from like subscribers and stuff, see if they want to see different games. I'll probably put some polls up there, see what uh, see what the viewers want to see, I guess, because this game is a four-year-old game, to be fair, and there are a lot newer games out there. I wouldn't even mind playing older games, like there's a, even like, even like the retro games, like the NES games, SNES games, I would not mind playing them, especially if they would help uh, grow the channel, reach a broader audience. Also, I think like watching gameplay for Breath of the Wild is only entertaining for Breath of the Wild fans, I guess you could say. And maybe I'm wrong by saying that, but I think it's very well possible that, uh, that that may be. So, I think the first time I played this game, I spent a lot more time trying to get to this shrine. I think that I made it a lot harder my on myself than it had to be. And I think we'll just get this with stasis. This is probably the stasis shrine right here, to be honest. So, yeah, we're all good. I'm going to skip these uh, little cutscenes here. I assume it's going to be easy. It's been a while since I've touched these shrines. So yeah, stasis. We'll go ahead and get the rune here. Something I did notice watching... Uh, I don't know if it was somebody else's playthrough or my video, the last one that I posted, but the Sheikah symbol is actually like physically on these runes here. So like... They drip down to the bottom, and then there's a drop that's on an eye, and it looks exactly like the Sheikah symbol. I don't know. I, I've been playing this game for a while, and I never noticed that. Maybe it, maybe I slept on it, went over my head, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Like you see the eye at the bottom, and then the, the drop actually forms. Like that is on the Sheikah symbol. Like every Sheikah symbol in the game has that drop. I think that might tie into something. That's just pretty dope. So yeah, Stasis is probably my least favorite rune. I mean, it's all right. Actually, nah, probably the like, like the camera, like photography. I don't really, I don't really uh, connect with that one. It's just a camera, pretty much. You know what I mean? It's just. I don't even know if it counts as a rune because it doesn't really give you abilities and stuff like that. I know the camera is, like, Zelda's special move in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, and I thought that was kind of, I thought that was kind of like, come on, man, like, taking a picture, that's the special move, that's what you're going to give Princess Zelda, but it's all good, I enjoyed that game a lot, I might replay it if, uh, well, that's a better shield than what we have, so, yeah, viewers or subscribers are uh, down to watch that, like, I'll put it in a poll one day, probably, and we might replay it, I'll probably, uh, make a video about uh, Lon Lon Ranch. Like, I know Lon Lon Ranch is in uh, Breath of the Wild. And, uh, see, yeah, see, I remember this is not that much inventory, like, for the beginning of the game. I'm gonna throw this tree branch. So, uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, Lon Lon Ranch is in uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. But it's like, in this game, it's like ruins. In Breath of the Wild, it's ruins, but in Hyrule Warriors, it takes place 100 years ago, and it's completely intact. It's it looks, it doesn't look damaged. Yeah, I should not have hit it that many times. I probably could have hit it, like, once, and it would have did the job. I for, forget that you have to conserve, like, your weapons and stuff, uh, in this game. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this when I can. It is pretty cool that the monks do look kind of unique. Like, I don't know if every monk is unique. If, like, some of them look the same as others. But there are a lot of unique, uh, designs for these, uh, for these guys. They're cool. It's pretty much the same cutscene every time. So now, we got three of them now, so... I think it's just one more shrine, the one in the cold. So we'll go ahead and, uh... 
cook up those peppers unless we can find like a fish and uh and meat before we can leave the plateau i'm not going to go out of my way to do that but it's an easy way to get the warm doublet it's getting it from the old man So I don't remember if we can get to the last shrine from, like, this direction. We might have to leave to go cook some food, actually, because I think it's going to get cold, like, right here. Yeah, it just got cold, so let's see if we can climb down over here. If not, uh, we're actually going to be... We might be pretty much screwed over here. Oh, no, this is, this is cool. So, yeah, we'll climb down. going a lot faster than oop okay we didn't take any fall damage i don't know why but i thought we were a lot higher than that and we're still too cold we're still taking damage so i think the temple the temple of time in this game looks pretty cool sometimes i wish they could have uh, made it look a little bit cooler more modern but at the same time probably would have upset a lot of people uh, if they made it look too different from Ocarina. So yeah, let's go ahead and find a place to cook some food. See if we can uh, get those spicy peppers going. We'll just go through that way. I remember the E3 demo, I believe, started in that little area over there for this game. Like in 2016 or whenever they did it. I think there's a cooking pot on like, the other side of... Uh, this area over here so see if we can just spot some fish because it was a seafood like a spicy meat and seafood fry or something like that Let's get this butterfly nah it didn't work so is there any fish just like on the top of the water see if we can seek them out I don't know it looks pretty dead I think actually no I see some Hyrule bass There we go. So yeah, maybe we can get some raw meat. If we can get a bow, I mean, it's kind of hard to chase the animals and then shoot them or <laughs> use your melee weapon. It's kind of difficult to chase them and use your melee weapon, so. I know we have a fire arrow too. We have like fire and ice arrows, I believe. Yeah, we do, so be easy to start a fire that way okay so yeah he has a torch but so do we just I thought there was a cooking pot over here uh, maybe there maybe there's a cooking pot at that smoke over there I guess yeah let's go ahead and get this apples here That was way, that took me way too many tries. Way more tries than to shut up just jumping at that apple there. I am recording this pretty late at night. Uh, since I am just starting this out, I don't really have like a set schedule of when I'm doing this and anything like that. I'm pretty much just doing it when I have time. So, oh, here's some flint. That's cool. But I'll just take it though. I don't really need to start a fire right there. See, there's an animal right there. I don't really know what they... I mean, I guess I could throw a bomb at it. I, I do think it's cool that the bombs are, like, infinite uses, so... <laughs> and we got him, so... That's cool. Spicy meat and stir-fry, or whatever. Seafood stir-fry. Let me find a... Cooking pot, we'll go ahead and try it out, see if we can get a free warm doublet, because I don't want to spend rupees on that or anything like that. I don't know if I don't see I don't know if the master mode only affects like gameplay. I don't know if it's only like difficulty well gameplay, I guess that's broad. I mean like combat. I don't really know if it only affects combat. I don't know if like rupees are gonna be more scarce, if like food's gonna be more scarce. It seems like apples and mushrooms and stuff are 
definitely still around and animals too, so. You get a lot of amber and stuff too in the be like even for the beginning, so I think it probably is just combat. I don't really know anything else that it might affect. Really need to find a cooking pot now though. Even if it is just to cook the peppers or get the warm doublet, so. All those three of them I thought was like one or two. And is this a stone talus? Just right in the Great Plateau? Yeah, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm gonna wait to get some more items, cause... I'm up for the challenge, but if I die over and over, I might be here all day, so... It's a really cool enemy, though. I think it's really cool that the, uh... The Cobbling Camp was, like, on top of the Stone Taluses in the sequel trailer. I thought that was one of the coolest things that... I've seen in a while. That one really stuck out to me. I thought that was just super dope. And I don't know if they have a cooking pot here. I think he had a cooking pot at his uh, at his camp. Is he still throwing stuff at me from all the way over here? Yeah, he's, his health bar is still showing up too. That's crazy. That's something that changed. Like uh, there's a squirrel over there. Something that changes the. Uh, how do you explain that? There oh, there's one right there. Let's go. So it wasn't the smoke. That's nice. So. Uh, I can tell in the master mode that the enemy's like range, like a vision, is much, uh, much farther. Finally got a bow too, that's nice. Let's go ahead and use our torch. Alright, so we're gonna try this spicy meat and seafood fry. Hopefully we can get the doublet from him. If not, I'm still gonna cook the peppers anyway. Yeah, that's exactly what it's called. So we'll probably get that free doublet from him. Cook these anyway, just in case. Cause I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. I don't remember though. Spicy sauteed peppers. Maybe we can go talk to him. I don't know if we have to talk, if it matters, like, where we talk to him. I've never done this, actually. The first time I played this, I actually paid rupees for the doublet. <laughs> I'm surprised that reached. Plateau is a lot bigger when you can't use like the paraglider and Rivali's Gale and stuff like that. I don't even know if I want to fight the Choo Choo. Maybe I'll throw a, just a bomb at him so I don't have to use my weapons. And that's it. Wow, okay. And he's regening. That's crazy. Okay, so this is very interesting. I really en I'm enjoying this. This is going to be a lot more. Uh, can't just let people sit around you actually have to keep hitting them if you want your damage to count it's pretty crazy okay so there's a bokoblin over there i'm gonna avoid him i think that was the first one that we fought too all right man i'm gonna blow you away i just killed myself so <laughs> i hope that doesn't affect my inventory i don't really remember how that works in this game So it looks like this video is getting a little bit long too, but we'll probably get the paraglider and end it there. I know there's just one of the coolest cutscenes in the game is when you get the paraglider, so that's just really dope. And yeah, I'm not, I don't care about you. I'm avoiding that bokoblin over there. See if we can talk to him about that doublet right here. If not, I think I'm just going to go for the paraglider anyway, see if we can get the doublet later. We can just start that in the next video, so. Oh. Um, talking to him didn't work. Maybe if we, I don't know, can you like hold it or something? Like, recipe is just, see, like, how do you, 
how do you give this to him? So, I don't know, maybe we'll go ahead and just hold on to that and we'll eat the other spicy peppers. Five minutes, yeah, we'll be chill. We'll be good. <laughs> chill, I didn't even mean that. No pun intended there. So we're gonna go ahead and just go up here and get this shrine over with. I think this last one here is, uh, uh, I forgot, what's the last rune? Oh, the Cryonis or whatever it's called. That that one's really cool. I remember there's a lot of really cool shrine challenges that have that, uh, that the main focus of the puzzle and I think it's pretty dope. You might usually lift a lot of stuff up with it, so that's really cool. It's just... I don't know, probably Stasis, and if it counts... If it counts, the camera is for sure my least favorite. I think Magnesis is probably my favorite. Uh, bombs are handy, though. If you have, like, no weapons or something, you can always use bombs, but it's probably going to be an ineffective strat on Master Mode with them regening and stuff. Like, I remember the, the island. I forget what it's called. Uh, in the bottom right corner of the map. Uh, where you just... Uh, they take away, like, all of your items. And you have to restart with just the item. Or just the... Nothing, actually. <laughs> you basically just restart. And you have nothing in your inventory. And I'm gonna wait until... We kind of have to pop that. Yeah, and then you just restart. Get all of your items from that island itself so um we'll probably just pop it real quick i mean we have a lot of mushrooms that we can pop too um yeah i'm gonna wait to pop that because i might do that while we're like climbing or something because i don't remember if you can eat while climbing <laughs> and i can definitely just hold off for a second it's only taking half a heart every like 10 seconds or so Ice choo choos, okay. Heard the noise, so I'm just gonna eat these. Yeah, see, I don't know if it's gonna take me five minutes to get up there. I know the cold water does a lot more damage than, like, just being out here in, like, the air. Uh, I don't wanna mess up my torch. Alright, leave me. See if we can search these for some ancient parts. Hopefully get that ancient armor a little early on, because now I know how important it is to actually search those. I don't think you can search this. Yeah, you can. There we go. It's going to be a while before we can just kill guardians, too. It's like... gonna be a really low level for a while. I don't really know. I just did not mean to do all that. Alright, let's just get this guy with the arm. And now they're <laughs> blowing the whistle for the goblin, so that's only two. I'm not taking that. See if we can get a better uh, angle on it. I think if we go ahead and hit it from this angle, yeah, that will work perfect. Right, this dude's trying to shoot us. And that's crazy. That is crazy. I thought he was going to hit me with that one, so I'm going slow. I think the Traveler's Bow is like one of the coolest looking bows in the game. Is that what the... Yeah, the Traveler's Bow is pretty dope. For being so simple anyway, like for one of the starter bows, I think it's really cool. My favorite bow in the game probably is the Ancient Bow. We'll probably pop that right now. I don't think we're gonna need to 
hold off on it anymore. And it filled our health too, so that's dope. Yeah, we're gonna be good. I don't think that we have to climb, actually. If we do, it's very minimal. The trial's probably gonna be really easy. I remember the Cryonis, the cry Cryonis I think it's called. The trial is just like lifting doors with the ice and stuff like that so be all right there might be like a, a little guardian in there like a mini guardian if forget what they're called those are some of my favorite shrines as well by the way is just uh defeating the little mini guardians is like a test of strength or whatever it's just so cool you can just see everything from the plateau it just really put it puts it in perspective like what you're about to do for the rest of the game it's just Super cool. But yeah, once we get a little bit more of audience, we'll go ahead and put some polls in the, like in the corner of the video, see if there's like some other games that uh, you want to see, uh, or you want to see, or like uh, other video ideas. I know like. The first, my first upload, I had a lot of a, excuse me, my first upload, I had a lot of, like, uh, explanations for, like, what I'm going to post in the future, but it might, it might be a while, I'm not going to lie, it might be a while before we get some of those, uh, types of videos. I got to learn how to do, like, video editing software, stuff like that. I'm sure that, I'm sure that it's not too difficult. I don't know, I've heard a lot of people have a lot of issues with it, I don't want to sound too naive. So we're going to go ahead and uh, finish this one, do the paraglider and that little cutscene and everything, and we'll end the video there, probably. It is getting to be a longer video. Yep, and there he is. And he got me. That's crazy. He's got a sniper on him. I don't want to die again. This is... Taking a while. So... Can you see me over here? Like, he can. Okay, I don't even think he cares that I'm over here. Alright, so... I'm gonna try to... Yeah, these guys are really hard. I guess I didn't even try to attack them, not gonna lie, but... I just don't want to waste my weapons on these guys. I mean, they're low level weapons, probably the lowest level enemies I'm going to find in the game. So yeah, I'm going to try to use like a fire arrow on that guy or something, a uh, ice arrow, I guess, since we're in the water. See if we can freeze him and get a couple cheap shots in. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, switch to this ice arrow. That did some pretty decent damage, so let's go ahead and uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to relearn that timing again. Alright, at least I blocked that one. That was pretty scary. I thought I did it way too early. There we go. We got him. I do want to defeat a lot of these, like, little mini guardians. I forget what they're called. But, uh, and the regular guardians too. I want to get, like, the ancient armor pretty early in the playthrough. Maybe if we can get it, like, uh... I don't really have a goal. I don't know when would be a good time to get it, but pretty much just gonna get it whenever we can. I don't know. Can we get up there? Like with the cryonis? I'm just about to jump from right. Here. Oh, I can't jump from right there. Maybe if I make it like this, that's cool. I think I. I don't think you're supposed to do it that way, but oh well. There's a spear. We'll take it. 
I like how fast you can attack with the spears. I think that's really cool, especially with stasis. You can really just stasis the enemy or the object and just hit it like five or six times in like two seconds. It's really nice. So. Other than that, spears have really low damage. Maybe that's why they have low damage is because you can hit them so fast, I guess. It's kind of like a trade-off. Yeah, I'm just going to keep skipping these, try to keep the videos a little bit shorter. I mean, they're pretty much all the same cutscene, like, over and over, just with a different name, a different monk. Yeah, I would not mind doing a playthrough of, like, every single Legend of Zelda game on my channel. I would, I would play the crap out of every single one of those games. I mean, I've only finished, I've, I've played pretty, I've played every 3D Zelda except Majora's Mask, but I have not finished every single one. Uh, I've pretty much only finished this one here... I mean, I finished a 2D Zelda. I finished Link's Awakening on the Switch. I thought that was a really good game. Uh, it had some parts that were a little outdated for me, like uh, like how you get like to the Windfish and everything. Like it's in like the library that's all the way in the beginning of the game. Like I'm not gonna lie, I had to I had to cheat. I looked that one up because yeah, find where those lines intersect. So of course he's talking about the uh, the, the Temple of Time. So that's where we're gonna meet him there. Uh, he'll be at the top, and we'll go ahead and hear his story and get the paraglider, and we'll be off. We'll probably end the video there. Um, I do not. I don't. I'm not going to engage with these guys. We're just going to kind of try to finish the plateau and then move on. And oh crap! So that was not a good idea. We might fast travel actually to make it faster. Just yeah. Yeah, I would not mind playing every single Zelda game. Like even though even Zelda One, like I haven't, I've never, I've played it of course, but I've never finished it. And I would love to. I'd love to play a Link to the Past too. I feel like that's probably one of the the cooler Zelda titles, and I've never. I've, I've played it like the first level or not level I guess that's not the right term but like the intro of it like where you go to the castle I got to like to the castle and that's it and I just I thought it was really cool that was, like that link he has like pink hair in that game I just think that's sick cold resistance for another minute and 40 so I like the like the winter area music, like that doot doot doot. I think that's pretty dope. I don't know why. And I'm glad that didn't kill us. I'm super glad that didn't kill us. We have had like three game overs alone in this playthrough. I'm not used to having three hearts. I've gotten a bit reckless with uh, my playing. So, is there a, I think you can like press A to climb down or something like that. Oh well, who cares? We're here. I'm not gonna do it again right here though. I might have to do some like reverse scaling type. <laughs> it's all good. That looked goofy, but we're not gonna talk about that. We'll, it'll be good. So yeah, of course I'm gonna go ahead and probably upgrade my hearts. I'm 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 content with the one stamina wheel at the moment. Um, I'm cool with that for now. We'll probably start the next video upgrading our our hearts and uh, trying to get that warm doublet from the old man over there for free. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to do it before this cutscene, but I don't know if he's going to spawn in over there anymore. I think he's probably just stuck here now. Because it's not like he's... He told you he's waiting here, so... Yeah. This is probably my favorite cutscene in the game. Either this one or the cutscene where Zelda like awakens her power. That's probably another really cool one too, where Link's about to die well and she done saves there, it. Young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I thought it was really cool. They put like every character in this game, or in Hyrule Warriors too. This is King Rome was Formus Hyrule, so he was in the game, and he had a skin as the old man too, and I thought that was just really cool. Yeah, the kingdom no longer exists. It's pretty crazy. 
Yeah, this is a really cool twist. I remember the first time I played it, I was so impressed with that. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. See, I wonder how he transformed into malice. Ganon were passed from generation to generation. In the form of I think we're going to learn about that in the sequel. But there was also a prophecy. This tapestry also, this prophecy, this is probably going to tie into the next game. Like the for signs sure. of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also yeah, I think it's really cool the that they ex excavated all of this stuff too, the Guardians, the Divine Beasts. Autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. And the heroes in this game are really cool too. I want to get the, the Amiibo, there, like for all four of them, like the four pack. I think that would be super dope. I don't know if I would open that either. The princess Probably buy it unopened and then buy us like the uh, duplicates the just that are already away, open, Ganon. no package, for much cheaper. I like to collect the amiibo. I have like a small amiibo collection. Uh, again, like I was talking about in the last video, can make a video maybe in the near future just about random stuff in my collection. Uh, I have like eight amiibo now. I got like three Animal Crossing ones, three Zelda ones, and a Mario and a Squirtle. So I pre-ordered the uh, Zelda and Loftwing amiibo too, and uh, we also got the. Metroid Dread 2 pack. I pre-ordered that as well. I think that game looks amazing. I'm super excited for Metroid Dread. I'm going to definitely play through that on the channel when it comes out. Uh, it's going to be my first uh, 2D Metroid like that I've... I'm going to finish it. I've, I've played 2D Metroid, obviously, like the first one, Super Metroid. Uh, I think I played one on the Game Boy too, but I just never finished them, so... Definitely going to run into that as well later in the this year. I think October it comes out, and... Uh, the I'm super survived. excited. I can't believe it. Like, I think that game's been in development for like 19 years or something like that. So, just looks amazing. You are our final hope. Yeah, I hope that we see the Triforce on uh, Link's hand and Ganon's hand in the sequel as well. I think it's super dope that uh, Zelda has a piece of the Triforce on her hand in this game. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. 
even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within her. I do have a lot of questions about the story, and I hope they're answered in the sequel, but however, a sequel's going to take a while. They said they're aiming for 2022 as well, so I think when they say that, they either mean super late 2022, like holiday season, maybe between September and late December, somewhere in there, or early 2023. It would not surprise me if it was early 2023, because... They're gonna perfect it, man. I can tell. I can tell. Like it, just the trailer. That just looks amazing. I was floored by that trailer. My daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest yeah, very reckless. And there's many people on YouTube that do that. <laughs> many people on YouTube that just fight Ganon first thing off the plateau. And I think it's impressive. I think it's really impressive. I would, I would never be able to do that. I mean, maybe. I don't want to say never. I don't want to doubt myself or anything. But that just doesn't sound like something that would be appealing to me. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. See, and the first time I played this, I did not hear him. I don't know if I wasn't listening or something, but I was just lost after the plateau, and I ended up doing, a, I think it's Rudania. I think Va Rudania is the camel, like the lightning divine beast. So Nice, we got the paraglider. It's a big deal. Yeah, so I did the Gerudo Desert first, and they kind of point you in the direction of Impa and uh, uh, Zoro's Domain, and... <laughs> My first playthrough, it was not like that. But that's what's cool about this game is there's no linearity. I don't know if that's a word, but you don't have to, like, follow a set path. And it's just, it's perfect. It's, I, I don't know, I think this is a perfect game. It's one of my favorite games. There's not many games I would give the word perfect to. I mean, that's a very bold statement. Perfect, like, soldier's bow. So I think the soldier's bow actually looks cool, too. It's like a traveler's bow, but, like, cooler i think the traveler's bow is like in the trailers and on the amiibo and stuff i think that's why i like it so much but uh yeah we're probably gonna end this video here we got the paraglider thank goodness so uh i'm actually since we got the paraglider i may as well just go check it out over here and see if we can uh get the uh the doublet from him actually nah this video is 52 minutes 53 minutes yeah i'm gonna end the video here yeah, sorry about that, guys. We'll definitely pick this back up tomorrow. Um, I'm definitely excited to dive back into this. We just completed the plateau, and that just feels amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Wish you all the best. Uh, see you later.